Hi, and welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In this one, I'll show you some easy steps you can take to create cool looking nature scenes in Magical Voxel. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so once you've created your terrain to whatever style or method you usually go at, um, you can go ahead and start applying a grassy texture to the mountain here. So what I like to do is just make like call it bushes and select maybe two or three colors that look somewhat like uh, grass or bushes that kind of pop out from the mountain and you want to keep them kind of dark because um, if you make them too light it won't look correct in according to the terrain and you'll see in a bit so these colors are pretty good so what you want to go ahead and do now is go to the eyedropper tool and just select one of the colors that you use to color the terrain. And then you can hit control C on the keyboard. Press tab to switch out into world view. Hit control V to paste. And you can see I grabbed that um, color and copied and pasted it outwards and just put it up here and then highlight these four colors that you had created for the bushes. Right click, hit random. And using the eyedropper tool with this mode selected, just delete basically everything until you get to the last color and then do this step again. Right click, random, and delete some more. And choose, and then select it all. And again, same process, right click, random. And then you have that, you can constrict it and then bring it down so that you have something like this. And you can see it's starting to take form. I'm just gonna do this for the other colors and I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. So now that I've done that, uh, process for all the colors that were on the mountain there's a few things to note one is you can see that the colors I duplicated and moved up have shown in the it's basically I don't want it to like be speckled in like the water and on the terrain and second it looks a little bit messy it looks like there's just too much going on so what you can do is to pick one of them and either delete them or to so I'm actually going to delete them and then go into one and just get rid of some here and there so I'm going to go into voxel mode and increase the voxel size by either pressing plus or minus on the keyboard you can see this is changing and have 3d selected and make sure you're erasing the uh, actual voxels on the for the bushes, not the mountain itself. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, get rid of the stuff that's in the water and get back to you guys once I'm done. Okay, now that I'm pretty much done with that, I can go ahead and mess with the bushes some more if I wanted to, maybe make them darker. And more saturated so now we have something like this and it's starting to look better what we can do now is create some trees that line like the coast which is really simple so you can just create a new object and find where it is. Of course, it puts it here. Just gonna drag it over. And going into the shader section, click on mandel bulb. Hit play, and it creates this. I'm gonna create a new note next to the palette and call it trees. And 
it's gonna be like during it's gonna be it's gonna be like an orange tree it doesn't matter all I can do is just scale it down so I'll go on the scale and just keep pressing that so I have something like this and I can just drag it down of course it's gonna have to be smaller Move it around. Now we can just duplicate this a few times. That's a really bad looking tree, so I'm actually going to go back in here and maybe erase some of it. Something like that. Maybe increase this a little bit and apply the mandible shader. Move it around and get this different color, maybe like a red color. And this one could be green. And we can just duplicate these a few times. So you can duplicate really easily in the world editor view by just selecting one of these arrows, holding shift, and it just drags a new one out very convenient. So I'm just going to duplicate this and position it to how I like it and I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. Okay so here you can see we have our little post with some trees. It's pretty saturated so you can obviously just change the color to make it look less saturated. For example this red is pretty saturated. Uh, this probably doesn't look like that in a while so you can change it. Same with the green, and maybe even if it looks too dark here, you can always rotate the way the sun is facing. Something like that. And um, we can just do the same up here if we wanted to, or over here. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you can always just change like how high these go. You can actually just raise them up a little bit more if you want to make look at more, like make it look more like little trees that are sticking out. And that really affects how the scene looks. So now it looks a lot more dense than it did before. So if I hit Control Z, um, Switching in between Control C and Control R, you can see that there's just more coverage. So if you want to go for that, you can. And of course, if it looks too plain and you want to make the whole thing like full of forests, you can just go in here, select that, and do the same process. Oops, do the same process. Selecting all and just deleting the voxels as you go. So you have something like this. And then you have something like this where the whole thing is covered in my opinion. It from some angles it does look good. For instance if I have it like this, it does look like a hilly kind of like mountain, but from like most perspectives, I don't like it, but um, some of you do, so I just want to give that option to people. I'll personally just delete that, just make it have like more texture. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, simple texturing a hilly mountain in Magic of Voxel. So I'll go ahead and leave a Vox file of this completed project, as well as a base you can work on to practice on my Patreon and I can leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. So I hope this video has helped and I'll see you all in the next one.